Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day and today we are playing The Long Dark. Um, after the last video, I started like just taking care of some inventory stuff, ripping apart clothes, getting rid of things that we didn't need. Because we're about to go up here. Uh, it's kind of a long trek and I want to make sure that we can grab as many things as we can once we're there. And then I started hearing the familiar noise of... Um, I guess like electrical interference. And then I looked and it's all green outside. How sweet is this? This looks awesome to me. Just want to go out here and look. I'm, I mean, it's Aurora Borealis, probably, right? It's probably a continuation of the same effect from uh, episode two. Oh, they chose a lot better music for the. No, it's the same. Never mind. It wasn't bad before. It's just it got. It got kind of um, a little bit rough after hearing it for, you know, more than 10 minutes. But, um, yeah, this is cool. I wonder if the Aurora Borealis will play into effect or play any effect on Astrid's tasks that she has to complete in this area. Anyway, it wasn't quite done uh, with all the back end, like the inventory stuff. Which will be survival. Mechanics. Where's the... Oh, I, I chose the wrong thing. That was... Um, I wanted to eat this. I chose uh, medical stuff out of the, the radial dial instead of this. Eating stuff. Cool. And then some of this. Use up some of that water. We have a lot. Like I said, we're gonna need um, we need a lot of space, or as much space as we can get um, for this journey. Found some more books and firewood in our like, in our catch-all storage storage trunk over there. So I deposited it. And now we're at twenty-eight point eight one hours of firewood. We're gonna head out. Oh, you know, you know what? Not quite. We need food. We need to take some. We'll take this MRD with us. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong thing. I meant to take... There we go. Um, what do we think? That's probably good. I don't know. Let's take a box of crackers instead, because it's like 600 calories and it weighs a lot less. That should be fine. Watch, we'll get wolves right here. Just because. I just have a feeling. Nice. It's only one. It's good weather. It's, it's not too cold out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to follow this road around up this side. We're going to stop there, see if there's anything where the road um, dead ends into the mountains there. And then if, you know, just depending on what happens, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. We're going to head up here. We'll probably um, get off the bridge and head up the water. I'm not sure. Whatever opportunities present themselves. But that's basically what we're doing is heading up the east side of the map and explore that because we haven't been there yet. And it's... It's... We're doing well on daylight. I think this is perfect. It's, uh, I couldn't... The only, the only way it could be better is if um, it weren't cold enough for us to lose any body heat at all. We've been here? <laughs> Are you kidding? We go just like, you know... A thousand feet, and then we found stuff we haven't explored? Oh, no, we have been here. That's right, the bank foreclosed on all these places. And I do remember going over there. Okay, looks different in the dark, doesn't it? Very cool. The sky, it's like, kind of green? I like it. Here's the thing, I recently got, um, this is like totally off topic, not a part of the game. So I play a lot of games, right? If you follow my channel, you know that, I mean, I, I play a lot of games. Um, yeah, it, it's a lot. But uh, anyway, so I spent a lot of time in front of a computer screen. And I had a friend who suggested I, I get blue, uh, blue light glasses. Like the glasses that filter out the blue light from electronics. And I, I did. And it's made a huge difference. So I just wanted to say, like... If you spend a lot of time in front of a computer screen and you are you have blurry vision, your eyes get tired, 
Just get the blue light glasses. It's like eight bucks for three pairs on Amazon. Um, and it, it's I recommend them. Those ones honestly kind of suck. They're poor quality, but it's better than nothing. Oh, cool. We're about halfway to that road. We only have the pistol for for weapons, for a, as as a weapon. We left the rifle. We only had one round for the rifle, so we just left it. We'll explore all that stuff later on. For now, I just I kind of want to stick to the road. What? <laughs> what just happened? What is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to stick to the road because in the beginning of this area, when we first came... Oh. Shoot, we don't have... We don't have a rifle. I'm not sure if the... I don't think the revolver is really going to do much. If a rifle doesn't kill unless you get a headshot... I don't think that the revolver is going to do much. And it's pretty tough to hunt in the in the nighttime. Let's kill it, or let's, let's try shooting it. And it'll run over there, hopefully. To say no hunting. <laughs> That'd be funny. We're just going to try it out. We have 40 rounds for the revolver. Oh, awesome. Did you hear that echo? We need the food. We're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here. Man, but we wanna go in there. Remember the one time we were hunting, it was in um Mystery Lake area. We were hunting that deer at night. And then uh, I turned around and then I, I literally saw it with my own eyes. The deer tracks just disappeared. They were there and then they weren't. I thought I just heard it. Like, uh, not hurt, but heard. Follow the blood trail. We do need this. That probably honestly wasn't the best decision. Because we don't know what else we're going to find up there. I'm, um, like, up by... We don't know what else we're going to find on this, like, little walkabout that we're doing. And, uh, it's going to be a lot of deer meat. This might be like a chore to save for later on when we have more rifle ammo and we're closer to... Which way did it go? Gee, George, which way did it go? Um... Shoot. When we're closer to the community center, sorry. The blood's gone, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that answers that, doesn't it? What I really wanted to see is if the, re the revolver would kill the thing. The answer is, we don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Backtrack a little bit. Here we go. Okay. Not too much time lost. We're good. One bullet. Didn't answer a question, but that's okay. Oh, no, trespassing. What is it? Oh, it's a mining road. It's a rabbit over there. Probably more than one. Slowly transitioning to daylight. Now we're good. We're going to save... We're going to save all that for later. There'll be plenty of other opportunities to kill the wildlife and eat them. This is kind of cool. Do you see where it's going to take us? Like, way down there, it looks like. Oh, it's two downward arrows now. Shoot, I haven't I haven't watched the um, or looked at the survival mechanics in a little while since we left the community center. Feels like negative nine. Okay. The sign up there, like in the middle of the screen, up the pathways. Probably, you know, it just says mining road or no trespassing. Just a guess. Okay, 
Okay, nothing there. Just a big depression in the ground. Ooh, look at that. That is cool. Colors. Very cool. What do you think is up here? Oh, made it through another night. Wow, okay, that's... But that's when the game calls it, you know, like, day versus night, or the transition. It's a mining road. What? Are we not gonna find anything up? Oh. Okay. Invisible wall, literally, invisible wall as far as we can go right there. That's really disappointing. Okay. Like, I'm, in, I'm incredibly disappointed in that decision by the developers to do stuff like that. Why would they just let us go all the way to the end? I mean, I don't know. Like, put something there. Put, like, um, just a bunch of stacks of, like, of logs that are awaiting, like, a truck to come pick it up. I don't know. If the, if the survival mechanics weren't, like, such a, a central piece to this game, then it wouldn't matter, right? Because we didn't just... We just spent time, like, we spent resources going up that road. And then it was nothing because there's an invisible wall there. Why would they have it on... Yeah, anyway. Like, if it were Subnautica, it'd, it'd be no big deal because those survival mechanics were pretty light. And that game, like, they really wanted you to explore. And they rewarded it often. But here, like, there's the, um, you know, like, it's just kind of like the... The constant pressure of their survival mechanics. Like, are we going to freeze to death? Are we going to have enough food? And yeah, we'll always have enough food in this game, but the cold is the big one. Okay, we'll back at the head of the road. Or just, like, put barbed wire across the... <laughs> I, I, I'll leave it alone. I'll stop. And this other one was right up here. We saw this uh, when we were following the deer. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. We'll get you some better clothes, Astrid, and then these minor inconveniences will not bother you anymore. For now, you can just be uncomfortable for a little while and deal with it. Yeah, this is the road right up here. This is the one that I was talking about. The mining road was just a diversion. That was like, or, you know, it's chasing squirrels. This is a lot different terrain, right? Versus most of the map that we've just uh, explored so far. Is there going to be nothing back here? It's going to be an invisible wall again, or what? When we get down here, um, I'll bring up the map again, and then... I'll show you, in case you've missed the other videos where I explained why we're doing this. There's, um... Well, actually, actually, I can just... I can say it now instead of using the map, but, um... So there's a road on the map. It comes down here in dead ends. We did this once before on a different road that dead ended. And we were rewarded for it. By a radio tower, um, finding a bear. Location discovered. End of the road. There's a pry bar. Okay. I guess you can't win them all, right? Where did the lines go? Like, the lines from that hole. Oh, well. Okay, we'll go back to the beginning of this. See, see now we're going to be freezing to death, and we, like, all this was for naught, like, um, up until now. Let's eat this box of crackers. This is so cold. We know, Astrid. It's not your fault. Down. You're just the one who has to suffer.
Okay, this so that's where the road Y's right there. Like, you know, like the letter Y, it Y's off. And now we're taking the left path up this way. And then also, here is the road that dead ended before. And we, this is where we found some cool stuff. But maybe the difference is just that this one dead ends on the side of the map. Can we get some hand warmers? Nothing. Oh, there's a soda. Great! Oh, and a candy bar? Okay, cool. Let's eat it. Or a chocolate bar. Is it the same thing? Is, is chocolate candy? You think so, right? Because they sell it in the candy aisle, but chocolate has been around for a long time. In my mind, it's different. You can incorporate chocolate in a candy bar. But chocolate itself, I don't know. Is it candy? I don't think so. Okay. What are we going to do? Go up there and get those three? We never did go back down here and get that, um, that survivor. So I don't really know what to explore freezing to death. So I don't know what to expect right there. You know, we have... We still have a lot of room in our backpack. There's a wolf up there. There's there's a house or a, a ruined house also. But I kind of want to go down there and get the survivor, but at the same time, I don't. And the feeling that I don't want to do it is stronger than the one telling me to go do it because we have a lot of room in the backpack still. And we have, we have a lot of daylight remaining. So if we go there and get it, that survivor and have to carry them on our back... Then, I mean, that's going to be pretty much the end of the day, because we have to take them back to the community center. It looks like a few buildings up here, doesn't it? Do we want to chance it? Because we're freezing to death. And we're moving very slowly because of the wolf. What I'm thinking is chancing it. Oh, no, that was not another building over there. I'm glad we didn't chance it. So I keep saying chance it. I'll explain. I was just going to make a run for it. Make a run for the building that I thought was there that had a bunch of walls and the full roof and everything where we could warm up. And then so we would get there, be warm out of the cold, and uh, it would also despawn the timber wolves. Or that, that wolf. It seems like all the wolves in this episode are timber wolves, right? I don't think that we've encountered just a regular one yet. Crouching, crouching. Hmm. I want to go explore that building. We'll wait until the... Oh, yeah, there's some stuff in there, I think. I kind of want to wait till the wolf gets away. We have stuff to make a fire. We just don't have fuel, but you can see there. I mean, there's there's fuel. <laughs> there's fuel over there by the wolf. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to go for it. Derelict's, derelict cabins. Okay. Antiseptic. I wonder if we have a higher chance of starting a fire if we use a stove. Search coal bin. Yeah, this this perfect. Here we go. This is what we wanted. This makes it worth starting a fire because we can get that sucker like hot. And we can warm up really fast. Oh, there's a cooking pot. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're gonna kill the wolf. We're gonna kill the wolf and cook its meat. Accelerant? Yeah, we're gonna use some right here. Um, cedar firewood, that's... Let's use reclaimed. I don't know why. I don't think it makes a difference. We confirmed that... At the beginning of this episode. I forget where exactly. Right on. Okay, add fuel. All the coal. Maybe not all of it. Okay, warm up super fast. How much water do we have? Oh, uh, we have plenty. 
We'll drink the soda though, the frozen soda. I don't I don't want to stand here. We're gonna go over here. Where are you, Wolf? Bye. <laughs> that was cool. I'm listening. It sounds like there are other wolves. But all the music stopped and all the indicators in the game. Yeah, I think we're good. And I don't think... Let's see, Guts take um, 10 minutes. I don't think we need the Guts. We'll use it for... the yeah, harvest that. Look at our health go down. We'd use it for um, fishing line or maybe like a, a bowstring. The fire should still be going. Right, because we had it for like three hours and something minutes. Okay, cooking slot. Cook. The wolf meat. Select. Cooking slot. Cook. The wolf meat. Select. It's really only worth like cooking, or like, I find it's better to cook. The most efficient way to do it is two at a time, whatever you're cooking. Two at a time. Otherwise, the calories that you burn while standing there waiting for it to cook significantly reduce. So it's like... They, they significantly reduce the total amount of calories you're going to take in. So, like, the net gain of calories is a lot less if you're only cooking one at a time. We'll reload the revolver since we're here. We have two, almost three hours still left on the, the thing. What time is it? Yeah, we're actually, this is pretty good. Let's... Can we, can we sleep here? We can't. Okay, how long until the meat's... 52 minutes, 52 minutes, we're gonna sleep for one hour. Just to restore fatigue and maybe some health, too. And the, the meat should still be good. Sweet, and we're gonna cook more. And how long will that take? One hour, one minute. Um... Two hours, eight minutes left on the fire. Let's see, how cold is it out? Only one? Okay, that's that's great. Big turn of events here. We're going to go ahead and sleep one more hour. Ooh, cool. This was... This, this was good. <laughs> this was good. Buying the stove here helps out a lot. Okay, and... Yep, take that. Take that. And now we're going to eat some. 805 calories. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see here. How's, it sounds like the wind picked up, huh? So yeah, it did. We have two down arrows now. My body temperature. Let's go ahead and drink some water, and then we're going to head out, I think. What time is it? And how much water do we have? Yeah, we're good. Pick it up. We're going to take the pot with us. This will come in handy. And then we're going to keep the meat, the raw meat that we have. We're, oh, wait. We don't need all the coal, do we? I will take it. 33.88. In case we don't find anything else. If we find something better, then we can replace it. If we don't find something better, which is highly unlikely, then we'll have um, some stuff that we needed anyway. What's this? It's a forest talker cache. Just full of gold. Golden goodies. Cool. Three down arrows. Tall. That's a ways away, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to keep the meat on us. We can use it as, uh, like, a decoy. We can throw raw meat on the ground if we're being attacked by wolves. And it should distract them while we get away. Should. I haven't tried it yet. But that, that scene, that's my understanding based on, like, the loading screen tips. How far? Okay, I think I think we'll be okay. We will probably start to. We're gonna go up to the cave at the very top of the map, the north. But um, we'll probably start to lose health before we get there. But I'm not too worried about it. It'll just be a little bit, and we can get there and camp out. We have tinder, accelerant, matches, magnifying glass, and 
fuel for the fire, so I think we'll be okay. Although I can't tell which side is the road. I guess it'd be this side, right? Because otherwise there'd be trees on, in the road if it were the other side. Yeah, we're good. Let's run a little bit. I keep looking at the map just to kind of like gauge how far we've gone, how much time it's taken, all those things. Um, so that way I can kind of like extrapolate, just do like napkin math, extrapolate, you know, like how... I heard a wolf. Yes. Maybe it's just music, I don't know. But anyway, extrapolate, like uh, just kind of predict what kind of shape we're going to be in once we get there. Can appear for a second out of the wind, maybe. No, it's not. It's out of the wind, but we're still super cold. So this is the point at which we have to decide: are we going to go in the water, or are we going to take the road up all the way around? Where's the bridge? There it is. I think we'll take the shortcut. Go going this way. My guess is that the. The ice won't break, right, because it's too narrow in here. And then, um, also, like, we'd be in a gorge, and so it blocked the wind, but it seems like it's just acting as a wind tunnel. No effect. Oh, man. It's <laughs> just crazy. Like, if this were a real survival, if this weren't a video game, like, there's no way we'd do this, right? We would have just stayed at the derelict cabin and probably, like, tried to have improved the position just a little bit, like, uh, move some lumber over, uh, take some, like, some branches. I don't know, something just to, like, block the wind that was coming in. But just stay there next to the stove and... Hang out with all that deer or the, all the wolf meat that we had. Hey, we're almost there. Now the question is, can we get out? Look how steep these walls are and how tall they are. We don't have a rope, but we're on the wrong <laughs> the wrong side to use the rope anyway. We'd have to be at the top, right, and drop the rope down. Unless you have like an anti gravity device that we can turn on. I don't think Astrid does. Oh, it was a bench. Okay. Backpack. Ooh, rifle ammo. Nice. How many rounds was it? Not really taking the time right now to look at those things. I was uh, hoping that it'd pop up in the upper right, though, like it usually does. Just did, didn't do it this time. Now that we're here, I think, I think we're going to be okay. We're going to get some... Firewood and such. We don't have a hatchet still. We got enough. We have plenty of coal and stuff, and there's like firewood galore in this world, so. Let's check out the cave and see what it does for our body heat. Oh, we're gonna go inside the cave. Oh, snap. Okay, now the music's all freaky. Search for the hidden cave behind a water. Oh, nice! If you, a few video, a few videos ago, I mentioned the I like the waterfalls in games like this because they always want to make me go search behind. Them. So this is kind of like the game's equivalent of that. I think this is a good stopping point, though. We're gonna we're gonna call this one here. This game is a long dark, and the next one we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna explore the cave. Um, I'm excited for it. I think it's gonna be cool, especially since we're not freezing to death and we have plenty of food and water. So, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.